Hey, welcome back to the vlog. We are officially in Florida. That's right. We're on vacation this week. Woohoo! There's Destin. We are officially in Destin. Are you excited, Gavin? Yeah. Can I get a thumbs up? We got to smash burgers a little too early. I guess we got a little too excited. <laughs> we got a little too excited, so now we're gonna go kill 40 minutes somewhere. Hey, we're at the Destin Commons and we're going to some of these stores that are around here. So we're gonna see what all we can find. Clothing stores, jewelry stores, uh, all kinds of restaurants out here. It's been so long. I've been to Destin, Florida a couple of times, but it's been so long since I've been, you know, that you kind of forget where things are after so many years. It's sprinkling a little bit. Honestly, that rain feels good. That rain does not feel any other reason. We found it. Yeah. We found it. This is where I wanted to go. Hey guys, we're at Pier 1 Imports. And we're looking at all the stuff that's on sale because unfortunately Pier 1 is going out of business. Well, here's some cute pillows. I like that one. Gavin, do you see anything that you like here? <laughs> Say, this isn't a kid's store. Nah, no, no, wait. He's on. He's <laughs> off. Hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah. I like scented soy mint. Wow. That's different. Concrete gadgets. Yeah. I like these right here. We're a little lost right now. We're looking for big lots. I don't know if I'd want to live that close to the Destin Commons. All this traffic. Well, at least right here it's not bad, but you go over a couple blocks and it's just jammed yeah, packed. house right there. Huh. It's different. This yellow one. I like the yellow one. Yeah, I, I think they're vacation rentals. Vacation timeshare. Yeah. Kind of things, yeah. If anybody's got a friend of a friend, that wouldn't mind giving us a timeshare down here. That would be awesome. <laughs> See a Best Buy truck. There's big lots. I know. See, there's a Best Buy truck. I 
see the Best Buy truck. Best Buy. Here's the Best Buy truck. Where's Best Buy? Yeah, I can hardly see it because of the trees. Yeah. There's a benchmark as well. There's Best Buy. Oh, that's cool. See the screen? Hey, we're in our hotel room now, and whew, it just came a huge downpour. Like, a mega huge downpour. But we are in our hotel room. Yay! <laughs> Gavin, get back under there. You want to find the business slide, Gavin? Yeah. Come oh. on. Check it out. You want to go down this slide? Yeah. Let's see, we are at Big Kahuna. There's the Lazy River. The Lazy River's right here. Why don't we put the book bag in a locker and we can use my phone to record stuff since it's waterproof and we can all do Lazy River and stuff together. Okay, I would rather do that. Yeah. We're gonna put our backpack and cell phones up for safekeeping, so this is about as much of the park as you're gonna see, except for on Daniel's cell phone. He's got a waterproof case. My phone, unfortunately, does not have a waterproof case. I do have a GoPro. Well, it's a Vivitar. It's like a GoPro. It's waterproof. Hey, guys. It is day two of our family vacation in Destin, Florida. <sighs> I'm sun fried. Just a little bit. Not too bad. Um, we went to Big Kuna's Water Park, which was freaking awesome. Um, we rode down some water slides. We ran around the Lazy River a few times. Got us some stuff to eat there. Got us some drinks. And then, what else did we do? Oh yeah, we went to Henderson Beach State Park. Um, that's where we went to the ocean and the waves were like serious today. <laughs> but we got in the water anyway. <laughs> so we did that and oh boy, that was fun. That was my first experience with some real heavy waves. <laughs>
We're just going to hang out at the beach at Henderson Park, or Henderson Beach Park. Um, well, there's that place, and I found another place close to this Hotel Destin Inn Resort. Um, they have like a little pier out there next to it. I thought maybe we would go down Gulf Shore Drive and take a look down there and see if we could find a spot on the beach. There's like free parking there. It was $4 parking at, or no, $6 parking at Henderson Beach Day Park. But I think I can find us a place where we don't have to pay for parking. Matter, Gavin, we're gonna let a Sharknado get you. Mm -mm. Yes, we are. No! Don't you dare. Why not? Because I don't like Sharknados. Sure you do. I don't like shark. You don't want to. You don't want to get swept up in the sharknado. No. Maybe. Try yeah. yeah. Make sure you get them good with sunscreen. We got our little beach umbrella. Puckers. Hour and 20 minutes. It's been an hour and 20 minutes and I've had two Fud Pucker punches. Two and a half because I drink half of Daniel's because he doesn't he doesn't drink. He doesn't I'm on vacation people. I'm not like this on a daily basis. No, this is why I'm like vacation, live it up uh, you're only 34 years old once in your lifetime you know so I'm like <laughs> you're only 34 once right okay I've had two butt pucker punches and one mud on but you know what out of all the excitement 
of that. I bet Crystal's hot sauce. That's right, it's my hot sauce. <laughs> It's not real. It's not really my hot sauce, but it does say Christmas hot sauce. So if anybody wants my hot sauce, y'all gonna have to go through me first. That's right. Christmas hot sauce. Say hey, Gavin. Hey. Today is day four of our trip. We're at Chuck E. Cheese. And then we're going to go on a dolphin cruise in Orange Beach. And then we're going to meet up with my Uncle Jeff and Aunt Karen for supper tonight. So it's a good end to our trip, I think. We're going to have a good time. Kind of sad to leave, but oh well. Got to get back to home anyway at some point, right? <laughs> adventure in Florida or now we're actually in Mobile and I know wait we're in Orange we're on Orange Beach in Alabama now <laughs> trying to get my bearings straight um, but we're about to do a dolphin cruise so we were gonna go to OWA Adventure Park but Gavin he's never really been on roller coasters before and he since he's autistic we were, that was one of our concerns was that you know he's not really I just don't think that he would really have a good time you know at an adventure park I mean I would I'm sure there would be things for him to do there but I think the dolphin cruise would be better for him since he's autistic um but I don't know eventually we're gonna have to take him to an amusement park and find out but today we're gonna just do the dolphin cruise and just chill sit back chillax and I've never it, my husband's never been on a dolphin cruise Gavin's never been on a dolphin cruise I've been on a cruise but it wasn't a dolphin cruise so <laughs> so this is new to me too but anyway god what's going on with my hair anyway it's kind of windy here and my hair's like you know all this humidity and stuff it's like all that great but anyway <laughs> I'll take some video of that here in a little bit as soon as we board our boat so I'll see you in a bit Gavin, you can take your mask off now if you want to. Well, yeah, bring we it with us just in case these stores require it. Yeah, some stores require it, some don't. So, but anyway, we're gonna go check out some like geeky video stores and comic stores and stuff like that. So this should be fun. Where's the door? <laughs> can you tell we're tourists? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Is it a good one? It's not bad. There's some mortgage around this Windows 10 Pro turn up a DJ card drive. Plug into our TV. Mm -hmm. 
Gavin, what did you think about the Geek Store? Hey guys, it's early in the morning and we're finally back home. We had a really good trip, I think, this summer. We went to Big Kahuna's Water Park. We went to Telfin's. We didn't eat at Margaritaville um, because it was so packed. There was a lot of people there, but everywhere was packed, come to find out. <laughs> um, so, but we, we picked uh, another restaurant called Telfin's and it was really good. Um, that was in the, you know, previous earlier part of the videos. Um, that I showed and gosh we went on a dolphin cruise we went to Henderson Beach State Park um, we ate at Fud Puckers <laughs> I think I had a little too much fun at Fud Puckers I mean Fud Puckers <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, and last but certainly not least I got to eat with uh, my uncle Jeff my aunt Karen they got to meet Gavin for the first time and it was really <laughs> an amazing moment because uh, my family doesn't get together that much anymore but it was really nice to see them again and get to hang out with them for a little bit and I was just really glad that Gavin got to meet them so um, that was a good end to the trip but we all had fun Daniel Gavin and me we all had a great time um, we kind of had some funny moments, you know, running into traffic and, you know, road rage, but nothing, nothing too serious. So, you, you know how it is when it's bumper to bumper traffic and you just want to pull your hair out. We, we ran into some issues like that and we saw a fight outside of our hotel. We saw fireworks at the same time. So there was fireworks and a fight going on at the same time. Um one night while we were in Florida um it was crazy so a lot of you know there was a few things that happened um that was just like what the crap <laughs> you know but I guess it's Florida so you know it's summer so that's kind of to be expected um as far as the coronavirus and everything it's like I mean there's still the rules like six feet distancing and wearing masks and using hand sanitizer just making sure you're washing your hands I think people are abiding by those rules but I think people are starting to calm down not that they don't care anymore really I shouldn't put it like that it's more like people are getting more accustomed to it I think and so it it doesn't seem as like as big of a deal now because people are you know uh, not that the rules are more lax, it's just that people are becoming more familiar with the rules. And so it it wasn't nearly as bad, you know, as, or as big of an issue as it could have been. Um, some places required masks, some places did not. Um, but the focus to me was that we had fun on the trip, that we were safe and Gavin had a blast. He definitely has a new memory now, something that he will never forget, and I'm glad that we were able to give that to him, that we were able to give him a good summer this year, so that was the main takeaway from all of this, so, and of course, Daniel and I had fun too, so, but anyway, we're back home now, and <sighs> Let's get to it. Let's get back to our regularly scheduled programming. Peace out. Love you guys. Bye.